Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the newly released Agent Force Testing Center, which aims to test the quality and reasoning of your agents. Now, whenever you configure new agents, you tend to add new topics, and for those topics, you define instructions as well as a set of custom and standard actions. And as time goes, the complexity of your org deployment will increase, but you want to maintain a consistent quality. Obviously, you could test everything manually with the conversation preview here, but that won't scale. Then this is why we're using Agent for Status Testing Center. So the purpose of the testing center is to create tests to ensure that the reasoning of your agents is matching your expectations. You name a test, you select an agent, and then you provide a CSV file which describes your test cases. Now, if this is the first time you do this, you can grab the template from here. In our case here, I have prepared a sample set of test cases for the Coral Cloud sample app. And we're testing two actions in particular. We're testing the personalized schedule and the weather check action. Now, remember the goal of the Agent Force Testing Center to test the reasoning, not so much the execution of the actions. For this, you would have the flow tests and the apex tests. So how does this file work? You have four columns. The first one is uterus, which is a prompt that you will be providing, and the uh, testing center will run this, this prompt. And then there are three types of assertions that we're making. We're making sure that the agent is able to select the right topic, select and run the right actions, and gives us the expected outcome. Now, you'll notice one thing in the expected response. We are not describing a word-by-word -word, uh, response that the agent will give us. We are providing a general description, and we use AI to match this with the actual agent output. So this is something that helps us save a lot of time. Now, when we build this set of uh, test cases, we want to make sure that we test both the positive and the negative outcomes. This here, for example, would get us the right out outcome. But if we provide a prompt that is missing some information, we want to make sure that the agent is reasoning correctly and asking us for the missing information. And in this case here, it's missing a contact. Let's say that we're happy with our test cases. We're going to save this as a CSV file and we're going to come back to testing center. I'm going to upload my test files here. And then we're going to run these tests. Now this is going to go very quickly because we have just a few tests in this scenario. But the purpose of this tool is to be able to rerun those tests over time to maintain the quality and make sure there are no regressions. Now you can see that the test is measuring three things. The number of topic passes, action passes and response passes. Based on the test scenario we have, we can check the results there, and we can see the prompts, the expected versus the actual output, whether the test passes, and if I scroll on the size, the expected actions versus the actual actions, the action test results, and the actual outcome. Notice again the difference between the expected outcome, which is just the general description, and the actual outcome, which is a full text description for the end user. And you'll notice that in my case here, I have some, some gaps there. There are some things that didn't work, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, we will iterate and refine the instructions of our agent to make sure there are no such gaps. And again, remember that AI is not stochastic. There might be some times that it doesn't work, but that's fine. You will increase the number of test cases and build something that is more solid over time. Now I want to stress out one thing. This is an early release of the Agent Force Testing Center and forward-looking statement. We have a lot of cool things on the roadmap. I won't share any release dates, but we're looking at automating some of these things. For example, instead of uploading manually a CSV file, we're gonna be able to use AI to automatically generate test cases. Of course, you'll be able to fine tune them later. And then we'll have also the ability to trigger these tests with programmatic means. So instead of clicking manually the run test button, you'll have an integration with an API and integration with our developer tools, such as the CLI. This will allow us to integrate these tests along with other kind of tests in our DevOps processes and ensure the best quality for agent force deployments. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.